Hey, what's up guys? My name is Noah and welcome to another tech video. I guess I'm a little bit pissed off for many reasons. But anyways, hey, welcome to another video. Um, you know how many times I tried to make an intro for this? But anyways, still, this video is a tech video, as usual. This is a $750 um, PlayStation 5 Pro Killer as well, or I'm going to think of a name. But essentially a replacement from getting an actual PlayStation 5 Pro in the first place. Um, I managed somehow to make a build that's only 50 bucks difference between, you know, the console and the, the PC. Uh, in case you're asking, well, it's still $50 more. Uh, well, I mean, you're getting a freaking stand for PlayStation 5 Pro anyways, and that's 30 bucks. So, that is speaking, it will be either $20 or if not, if not at all, probably the same price point at this point. Um, that's first thing. Second... I'm doing this video because of how well the last video did, as well as how negatively impacted that video got to the fact that many console fanboys got pissed off, and some of the people with actual reasons to not really agree to the thing, which is fine. People with actual opinions and thoughts that actually benefit or has a reason makes sense. It actually makes sense, you know, especially the ones who mentioned why it actually doesn't make sense with the things that I said. A couple things, not all of them. And then there's a one or two person who goes on with a freaking crazy nonsense that has zero sense whatsoever, except for like one or two points, and goes on to attack other people in the comments as well, which by the way, come down Johnny. So I thought of making this video, I just, I feel like I had to make a new one as well as talk about that previous video. Uh, some of them, look, like I said, the comments where people like saying, you know, things like, uh, consoles have to stop making PC, uh, PlayStation or console exclusive games or because so that, you know, PCs can actually still be better. Uh, but because of that, blah, 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 which makes slight sense. I, I, I get it, especially. Uh, they should stop releasing day one games on consoles first, then release on PC. Stuff like that, I, I get it. That one, those, I get it. You know, those comments make sense. Um, but when it comes to someone attacking someone else for very stupid reasons with no logical reason to his comment in the first place just has no logic um especially you know johnny who've been attacking people with exclusive games related stuff or saying that consoles didn't win any award uh sorry pcs didn't win any awards for games or whatnot has no logic uh first of all a lot of games got get released on pc and not on playstation or xbox or just console in general until afterwards especially the ones that are you know Still in development, but it's released early access games. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, which consoles has no way to actually deal with that stuff for obvious reasons. Uh, Subnautica is an example, you know, famous game uh, that was released fully after years of the game being existed in PC in the first place. So, you know, the logic there doesn't really add up. And there's a lot of games that won awards, anyways. I mean, heck, even freaking. Among Us got an award, and that game was on PC firstly, anyways. If not, actually, actually, it was on mobile and PC. Anyways, the point is, it was there before console. So, in a general sense, I the logic of game exclusive being the best ones is not really true. Especially, again, like I said, not all, not all of them are good. Back then, sure, the console games exclusive were good back then. But now, especially for the PS5, half of them are just absolute worst games in the world um and especially you know many other that keep getting released and released and it just doesn't end up great example star wars yeah that thing was released the idea of saying that co console exclusive games are really good whatever or keep getting awards or something it, it's no it's not uh is there a lot of console excuses yeah sure that makes sense is it good no 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 don't don't make it don't make it that way. There are some. There are specifically some that are good, but not all of them. Half of them just bad. But again, uh, I get there are some benefits for the PlayStation. Uh, especially since someone also mentioned about something about online. Sure, most of the free games, you don't need a uh, subscription to play those games. But there's a lot of people out there that have Call of Duty as an example. And I don't mean like the Warzone one. I'm talking about the normal... Black Ops 6, whatever, they still pay for subscription anyway. So, in a general sense, it's not all the games are 
free-to-play online scenario, you there are games that you want to pay to play online and you need a subscription for that. So in a general sense, heck, you need a subscription to get a free game. You get free games on Epic Games anyways. Uh, I, I'm not going to go for why I prefer PC on a console scenario because it's going to take a while. But uh, what I'm trying to say is, well, there are reasons for consoles and I get it. There are reasons why PC is better. And we all know that. We all know a lot about reasons why PC is better. And again, there are a couple things that still holds towards console. More specifically PlayStation because Xbox, Xbox at this point is dead. Uh, but there is one person particularly that did mention that it's just better just to get a PC and a console and that's it. Just get both of them. And I agree to that. I, I, a great example would be me. I have both. I have a console and a PC. Because why would I get one or the other? Uh, and for those who are going to mention prices, let's be honest. Look at the price of the, of the PlayStation 5 Pro. Yeah, just don't mention price ever. Uh, you could just get a normal, console, normal, normal PlayStation 5 at a cheaper price point. Spend a little bit more and get a console, because that uh, PC. Because uh, let's be honest, if you have seven hundred bucks or eight hundred bucks or even more, you pretty much probably already have a thousand. You could just spend half of it on a console and half of it on a PC. And if you talk about monitor or whatever, you're getting it for the console anyway. So the the point what I'm trying to say is just do that. Get both. Just get both. That fixes everything. That fixed my problem. So that that that's the thing. So while I'm doing this video and whatnot, uh. What would probably be better is spend 400 bucks or 450 on a console again, and then spend the rest, uh, which is 550 to 600 bucks, depending on how much you get the other the console. Probably get, you might, but there are people out there who can get discounts. Let's be honest here, uh, for the console, so they might be able to even spend 600 bucks on a PC. And then when it comes to the screen, or whatever, you're getting it to the console anyways. So you know uh, that will probably fix most of the scenario here um but i guess it depends from one person to the other to the other i guess uh but any console fanboy especially playstation fanboy out there especially john uh don't bother people for being pissed off about this video or other p videos that are similar to this just don't if you if you are very very huge fan of a console and hate pc for some reason don't bother this is just for people who need a system that can do everything in one. Oh, there's another thing for for PCs that consoles can do. You can do a lot of things on PC than just gaming. So, if you're just planning to play games and you're a fan of consoles in general, don't bother. Don't get into this, this video in the first place. Just go. Simple as that. But uh, if you want to bother people, then my god, what's with your life? Uh, anyways... Let's get to the PC build, shall we? <laughs> so signing off for the CPU, went with the Intel Core i5 12400F. It's a 6-core processor, uh, 12th gen, though, so that's good. There's no integrated graphics in, in this thing, so that's why we'll, we're still going to use dedicated graphics anyways. Uh, it does come with a cooler, so that fixes a couple of things in there uh, in terms of pricing. And the cooler is not that bad, but it's not as good as expected. But hey, it's there. Uh, as if the consoles use like the best cooling system in the world, they don't. Liquid metal, but they don't use the best fan in the world, so there's that. Um, so it'll do just fine. I mean, six cores. I know the console PlayStation 5 has an eight core processor, but I just went with a decent CPU that could just do the gaming part anyways, and that's it. It would be recommended for eight cores if you're going to do something like streaming or playing a specific game, sure. But for the most part, six cores will be just fine for gaming, especially the good ones. Like, like this. So we're going with it. For the motherboy, we went with the MSI Pro B760MP. Um, it's a micro ATX motherboard. It's the DR4 motherboard now. All it's a simpler motherboard that feels like a motherboard that was used on a console. So it actually feels like it. It has a Type C port. It has a USB 3.0 port. You can plug in more USB 3.0 ports if your case has a USB 3.0 port. Anyways, it's um. Let me show the the ones on the PlayStation is Gen 4, so uh, Gen 2. I mean, so touche. But again. It, it feels just fine. And again, especially if you're going to do something like the VR. Oh, fun fact, you can still use a PlayStation VR 2 and this. Just get a adapter and connect it type the type A port. USB 3.0 type A ports into this motherboard. 
and then that's it it works just fine it's the same so that's why i went to this motherboard it just it, it works just like it should do uh there isn't ex you know a great vrm cooling at all it's actually not that safe to be honest um but as a motherboard function it works just fine so we go with it also because of the price so i'm going with it but the one i went with the silicon power gaming 16 gigs 3200 megahertz is dual sticks of 8 gigs equal to 16. um I mean, it, it works, so, and also it's just cheapest, so we're going with it. In terms of storage, we went with 11 GPS 800. It's 1 terabyte, it's Gen 4. I would recommend to search for something better. Um, but, uh, I mean, in general sense, this will work just fine. It's Gen 4, it's a 1 terabyte of SSD. It will do the job. I didn't go with 3 terabytes because, again, at the end of the day, you can just upgrade anyways, so... Yeah, sure, whatever. Two terabytes on the console, I guess. For the graphics card, we went with the Acer Nitro OC uh, RX 7700 XT. So, it's uh, close to getting a performance of a PS5 Pro. Apparently, someone mentioned that it's close to, but not exactly. Which, I mean, it makes sense. It's true. It's not exactly e equal to. It probably has to be in 7800 to be exactly that. Uh, but this will do just fine, especially if you're not exactly planning to play in 4K. And also do me want to mention, I did mention that it can, but it doesn't mean it should be played in 4K because it can't really get at 4K 60 in this thing anyways. Uh, not exactly. I mean, depending on the game. Uh, but for the most part, the new games, it's not going to be able to do that. 4K 30 though, pretty much same as the console. Um, but I would probably recommend to 1440p for this guy. So there's that. If you want to play 4K games, there will be some of the games that can be able to play in 4K. So it is capable to, but not recommended in a general sense this is a good graphics card so we're going with it now to buy the system we went with the ap via galaxy 650 watts it's a gold certified power supply semi-modular so uh you can have some sort of personal connection or just connect a couple things from your own but it will be you know, there's a couple of cables that will be attached or directly to the K uh, power supply anyway so it it will half help you and half not so we're going with it. Now, for the case, we went to the cheapest one. I just decided to go with the cheapest because I don't see the point. Um, we went with the Thermaltake Versa 8H18. It's a micro ATX uh, case. It's um, not exactly the best case in the world, but for this PC build, I just thought it made sense because it's cheap and it works. Uh, especially the price. It actually went really down. It's like 25 bucks. So, I would recommend a better case. But again, it's it's just a casing. Um, of course, better air, airflow and stuff on cases is better. But all you can do with this is probably just buy a couple fans and slap on it and probably fix a couple things in there. So I went to the cheapest case because in a general sense, you probably will save up money in one way or another, especially in the case. I've seen a couple of times where I was able to save up um, money on a research a couple of times. Um, seeing cases are cheap and does the same idea. So... We're going with the cheapest case for this one. So the total price for this PC build is around 750 bucks uh, and 48 cents, but 750 bucks. So yeah, you can build a PC that costs 750 bucks. Um, and you can even get lower. I mean, like I said, you can literally build a good PC that's like 500 to 600 bucks and then get a console separately and boom, you have both. Uh, but again, it's like really up to you. Uh, but if you're planning to build something that's better than a console or it can replace a console, this one's more for a replacement, uh, then this will be it. Or something similar. Like I said, you can change your mind and do things on your own. But this will be my take of this thing. So, um, yeah. Good price. So that is it for today's video. Uh, like I said, you can change a couple parts in there, uh, even though... I, I what I did is just using the website and did this and that's it. Uh, again, you can just find used parts. You can find cheaper parts in somewhere else. You can do things. It's up to you. I just built something that I will probably build my in my own way or you know maybe different. But in general sense, it's up to you to change things here and there. Uh, but this way, just to prove that you can build something that's five seven hundred fifty bucks and it's good. So there's that part. Uh, and also. Again, if you guys want to comment down below, share your thoughts, why you guys think it should be done, or if you guys have any uh, any comments about things that should have been changed, uh, any thoughts, uh, comment down below, share your thoughts. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, again, I haven't done the video for a while, so that's it 
for today's video. Uh, sorry for not posting a couple things for a while. I should have been... I, I post a lot in the first week of the month or second. But then I went out because work and work and life scenarios just decided to crap in a lot in just one uh, to two or to three weeks. Uh, so, you know, stressful times. But I was able to do this video. Uh, I'll probably be posting this video either today or probably tomorrow. I'll probably post this video tomorrow. So, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hope you guys liked it. Comment down below. Share this video. Give a like. Uh, subscribe today for more content. Please subscribe. I've been losing subscribers for some reason. Um, please. Uh, I'm, I'm this close of getting a thousand. I just need just 250 more people and I will be there. So... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked it. Comment down below, share this video, give a like. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and the link for the parts on the bottom description down below. Okay, peace.